here at Inclan we're finding that there's a definite shift towards uh, a 3D design. Um, when we go to industry we talk about the typical sort of layout, we look at electrical engineering, we look at flat 2D schematic. Um, but what we're finding actually more and more our customers are moving towards the 3D design. The idea of the 3D design is we can simply see our panel straight away. We can design from a panel layout to start off with so we can sit there and go, okay, is everything going to fit in the enclosure? Is my size and spacing correct? What John's going to do for us now is we're going to drop in a variable speed drive. And if we have a look at the uh, look at the panel, we're going to bring it just into a nice flat 2D environment, just so we've got a 2D view of it. Uh, John's going to go and pick a, 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 a drive now. He's gone to drop this in now. Physically, as you can see, it fits the enclosure space, but we've got some red warnings here, and it's not going to aim to drop that drive in. Um, so if we visualise this normally, we've gone, okay, I'm going to have to put my drive in there, but if you can see, the uh, SEW saying there should be a uh, mounting clearance here but for an air gap for cooling um, and it's not letting us drop this in because I'm cranking it too close. So I say if you physically looked at it you would have gone we can drop it in but it's not letting us do that. The clash detection is not just accounting for air gaps, it's door closure, it's making sure it actually fits in the full, full 3D space. So John's just going to drop the uh, drop the trunking down and the rails down now and then bring the device back in hopefully this time it should fit and what it's going to do is change the, the ducting lengths and stuff like this this will automatically update the building materials and once it's dropped into uh, the, the panel um, enclosure it's going to have the building materials updated so now it fits marvellous and um, what we can then do is we can go into the schematic page the good thing when you're designing this phase you're not double hitting your design we can go in to the schematics now, we we'll drop it down on the schematic page, so we can actually then start to connect the uh, start to connect the device. So I'm just going to give John a couple of minutes now just to catch that up. But we're finding more and more, uh, let's say not just in the UK but worldwide, that people are looking to design this way. Our manufacturers are providing better 3D information for the data portal um, to give the full class detection information there. So we've now placed this device on the schematic, um, and as you can see, that's just come straight in. John hasn't had to pick any new devices, he's dragged that straight from the panel layout page. He's now connected that up. What we can do is we can come back to this um, panel layout now, and we can start to look at some of the other benefits of, of the 3D. Um, things like automatic wire routing. Um, so John should hopefully be able to uh, just read this panel for us now quickly. This will update all these wire lengths here where you can see we've got some breaks where we change the, the height of that trunking. Um, and then we'll be able to sit there and route that and get some accurate wire lengths. The good thing about this as well is it's, it's taking all the wiring information, getting as accurate what wire lengths, but it generates the information very, very quickly as you can see, so getting quick, accurate information all the time. That's now connected up. As you can see where it connects up to, you've got your, your, your wire length here for that wire. Um, and all this has been done easily, straight from this graphical view. And what we're finding is say more and more people are designing for the enclosure space. The space envelope is becoming more and more prevalent in design, in not only uh, machine building and factory automation. A lot of times what they'll be given is just a piece of enclosure size that you can build, so can you fit everything in it? Um, what we can do from here as well now we've just dropped the, the high speed device in there the high speed drive in there it's what we call a hot component it's generating um a certain amount of power output so now what we can do is we can come back we can have a look at our cooling um, unit here and make sure it's providing enough cooling for the panel as you can see here toggling between the orange and the red um we've got um hot a hot device there you can see where that's coming our optimal cooling here in the um, blue is actually just hitting that. So maybe what we might want to do is consider dropping the cooling unit down. Um, again, what we can update then is we can update all the all the drill patterns and the cutout patterns for the panel as well. So very quickly and easily, we can not only make I'm sure our design is correct, make sure everything fits correctly, have accurate wire length. We can also have good accurate drilling and cutout patterns and produce some good information for for the shop floor to make sure that the production of this panel is built correctly. So you've just created a simple build view there. And all this has been created by just dropping the components down onto the actual panel itself. Um, 
a lot of our customers who are, who are approaching the product this way found it really successful, huge increases in efficiency over just standard 2D design, but also as well as it's cutting out those small errors, it's cutting out those um, issues where you wouldn't actually have, or maybe not have realised that you need air gaps and closures, taking account of actually the, the clash doors and the doors. Um, and we're finding that more and more, like in the mechanical industry, 3D is becoming more and more prevalent in your, your electrical engineering, which is traditionally a 2D um, design tool. Thank you very much.